Hello and welcome to a new video. I have a new mic now. I hope it sounds okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it and where I should put my mouth in relation to it and just how to make it sound better. I hope it sounds better than my previous videos, but bear with me while I figure it out. I wanted the colors this time to be very vibrant and fun looking and something that just kind of popped off the page. And I have a deep love for the pinks in my color palette. So I'm just currently trying to figure out what ones will look right with the rest of the colors I'm going to pick. For my sketchbooks recently, I've been trying to change my color palettes so I'm not using the same ones over and over again or like the same specific colors mixed with each other and so for this spread i used naples yellow opera red lilac light blue and horizon blue and i'm really happy with how these colors turned out there's nothing that gives like a deep dark anywhere Honestly, the lilac and the light blue are the darkest, but it seemed to work really well for this painting. Like, how could she? Is she begging? Everything. Tell her to go to bed. The first thing that I work on is the cityscape scene that is behind the ramen bowl. I don't know why I love cityscapes, but I'm having trouble actually painting them. Like it's too many buildings for my brain to process and I just have trouble making it look three dimensional. Either way, I still had a lot of fun painting this scene. It referenced the picture that I used, but it wasn't a like one-to-one -one comparison. And I'm actually really proud of how I did the buildings this time. I usually have such a hard time with it, and I think it just gave it a lot more character, being more free with it and letting them all be different colors and look a bit wonky. So this spread is based off of a trip we took to Tokyo Skytree. The ramen is from the food court. I think it's on one of the bottom floors. Skytree always confuses me because it seems like it's three eight floor malls stacked right beside each other. So like if you go on to one side of the mall, I always get lost and I don't know how to get to the other side. Yeah, the ramen was from one of the food courts there. It was really good ramen. It was tonkatsu, I think. Um, it was spicy, so I just took the spicy parts out. And my husband got takoyaki, which is the octopus balls. I always have to make sure that that's the right word. I get that and taiyaki mixed up. But I remember he really liked those. I think it had like a cheesy custard on top. I did a painting of the Taiyaki on the spread before this page. And this cityscape scene that I just finished painting up, this is from the view of one of the stations. I think the station is Skytree Station. I don't know the actual name of it, but I've managed to take pictures and videos of this station three or four times and I haven't realized it. <laughs> like every single time we go to Skytree, 
I just end up filming this exact station, like this specific platform too, and I just never notice until like I get home and I'm like, oh, I've already done this one. <laughs> but it's nice to see how the scenery looks between each season and each year, so it's still cool that I have so much of it. So I had to sneak in a little train on the side of this just to fill up space and I think it kind of adds to the fun character of this spread. I'm kind of sad because I just looked back at my paintings. I'm almost done with this sketchbook by the way. I haven't painted a lot of trains this time which isn't too normal for me now. Like I really enjoy painting trains. But after this spread, I think there's only going to be one or two more trains in future spreads. Um, it just didn't work out. Like, I didn't take that many pictures of trains this time. And that kind of makes me sad. But we were rushing around and needed to get to the places we needed to go. So hopefully next time I'll have more train pictures that I can reference off of. Like I could just use other people's pictures but specifically for my travel sketchbooks I like everything to be based off of pictures I took or the people I've been with what they've taken. I remember I was struggling really hard doing this ramen bowl painting. I think it's because the the picture that I was referencing that I took, everything was just super yellow. Like it was all warm tones and I don't think I'm like that great with warm tones. I think I do cools a little bit better. But yeah, the, the ramen bowl was a deep fire truck red. And the broth was like a, a deep, deep brown. And the noodles were a very vibrant yellow. And with my color palette, I couldn't really replicate that. Especially because I didn't have anything to make darker tones. So I was just struggling trying to get the ramen noodles to look different than the broth. And I honestly think it ended up turning out pretty good after I made the noodles more of a blue instead of a yellow. But I really like the shadows that I managed to get underneath the little spoon. And I really like... I don't, I don't know what it was in the ramen, but it's in the top left. I think it wasn't bean sprouts. It was something else. I think it was like eel? I have no idea. But I like how that turned out. I also really like how I did the chopsticks. For some reason I always think that the chopsticks are going to be one of the hardest parts and they're actually the most fun to paint. But yeah, here is the entire spread. It's just three simple paintings with the Shonen Jump stamp that I got at the Shonen Jump store and the little note on the side about where I was and what I did there that day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the audio sounds better now. Um, let me know if you hear crackling. I can hear it when I'm recording, but not when I'm listening back. Thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!